Okay, there we go. <laughs> so this is finished other than having the sealant put on it. But this is the first side of four of a reading library I am making. And I am making this up as I go along. So there's no plans. There's no, <laughs> there's nothing out there that shows how this is done. This is just Susan wanting to get rid of things in her garage. I hate throwing things away. And so I am trying to psychologically do it this way to make it easier for me to get rid of stuff. As strange as that sounds, but that's what I think is going on. Okay, so in previous videos, and you can also find this on my YouTube channel, I showed what this side was like to start and how a lot of these pieces in here are broken pots from or broken um, plates or like that's one of the plates from our kitchen that I, I really like this plate so much. Mark tried throwing it away and I said, take that out of the trash. I will find a use for that plate. Um, that was a broken pot right there, and that's a broken plate, and that's a broken pot. And there's another one. This is you. That's a broken pot uh, plate. Some of these things I did buy, like at the Goodwill or at the Last Chance Mercantile, but some of it not. So all of this white stuff, the reed, that part right there, I found that at the Last Chance Mercantile, and here it is. It's It was on one of those... Um, you know, what what people do to make backsplashes and stuff. So they were all on, a, um, I don't know if I'd call it a plastic, like this, like this. So they're made so that you can just grout it. You lay it down, you put it on the wall or, or the floor, or whatever you're doing, and then you grout it. You know, of course, it's obviously got to be flat. So what I, I bought this... They gave it to me for like a dollar. And what this does is I can cut it and use these little pieces for something else. So what they would do is they would go like this and put it on something flat, perfectly flat, and then it's grouted and it looks really perfect because it is. It's all there. So I, I like those things. I take them and I, I use them for um, breaking them up into little things. So I found this, which is all they had. And I broke it apart from the plastic thing that was there. It was falling apart. It was out in the rain. And I think I might have paid $3 for that. So that will get me through a lot of a lot of work. And some of them have like a brown tone to them. A darker color to them. I like this kind of stuff. And, and if you're nearby me and you have any of this, you want to donate, I will take it. So... Then in this these piles, and I have several of these, and I need to figure out a way of fake, making it so I don't, I don't know, I want to cut them down. Like this is a gravy bowl. It could have been fixed, but I really don't need the gravy bowl. I, mean, I guess I could. Could fix it. Oh, I'm going to put it to the side because maybe I will keep that in the pieces here somewhere. I guess that one. I'll put it to the side. But these little plates that have something on them are just so darling. Now the back part here has this ridge, so it makes it difficult. So I can use this inside here or part of the outside. It's hard to say. I really want to get somebody doing that. But isn't that gorgeous? Little little horses, the horse and people walking along. These kinds of things. Here's a pot be able to use, break it up and use it for something. So it doesn't matter to me that some are thick and some are thin. It really doesn't. Here's the other part of that plate. More little people. Wouldn't that be cute to see little people in the tile? Here's a plate I got somewhere. Anyway, so this is where I'm at. My grout and everything's just sitting out here. What a mess. It's supposed to have rain in a few hours. Anyway, here's the planter. I've got it, obviously, it's on its side. I built this for a different project and I used it for a few years. It sat in my driveway and now I've taken all the wheels off and I've painted with this kind of a rubberized paint to keep it from, keep the moisture out. I mean, I know of course it's going to have wet on it. And then these areas right here, I have already made a, um, 
like a floor to put in there. And I've already painted those that are right here. They just need to go in. I'm using junk from around the house. I am definitely not using anything nice. And then the idea is, is I'm going to build, and I have not yet figured out what I'm going to use. I'm going to build a reading library that will attach to, to the leg and maybe more than one because maybe one for kids, one for adults. I don't know. And this will be hella heavy because inside we'll have plants. And then with all the tile on it and everything, it's super heavy already. So this is what the plan is. I don't know how long it's going to take me to do this. I got an owie on my finger from yesterday, a piece of tile or something in my finger. I have not been able to get it out. <laughs> Thank you, Walter. <laughs> a thumbs up for my owie. Thank you. <laughs> and so, um, anyway, like I said, I'm trying to get rid of things from around the house. Things that are here, trying to buy very little and trying to just use stuff. So that's why it looks so strange, because it, it is very strange. Hey, I um, hope you guys find a project of your own that you find interesting and fun. And uh, don't look for these plans anywhere, because they do not exist. <laughs> All right, take care.